Okay, so one of the tricks you want to start is, is with good technique. This is your pickup here. When you hold your pickup, you don't want to have both fingers in the slot. Rather, you want to palm it slightly. Release it. Palming is a good way to release something. You can do it easily. Just like that. See that? Quite easy. Great way to hold it. Next thing, the needle's your friend. The needle's what gets you down the road. The needle point right here, you can see it there, is sharp. But it's also very delicate. And if you grab that needle, it won't work. Don't do this. Never pick up your needle there. Always pick up your needle mid-shaft. See that? Click down, easily palming. That's how you do it. Real easy. Grab middle, click. Not too far back in the needle. A lot of folks like to do that. If you're Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, go ahead. Otherwise, middle of the needle. That's a good grab. See that? I'm protecting my needle. Okay? Never want to stick myself. Always be aware of that. I, try, I like to take my needle and curve it off the side slightly this way because I can get a nice pick up that way. But it's personal technique. One last te technique that I know. When you want to do a backwards throw, you load up the needle just like you're going to do that, and you turn it over. See that? See how I did that? Now I can do a backwards throw real nicely. Okay? I like to do it just about, just like that. There you go, one last time. Okay, we're going to get started here. Here's our helpful Porky the Pig. So, when we do a stitch, we definitely want to put our needle in the right way. You'll notice how the needle is curved. You see how that curve goes like that? That's to match the action of your wrist as you flick down. The biggest mistake that people make with a needle is they go like this. They try and stitch like that. That's incorrect because you'll note the needle never really goes across the determined depth. I like to do this. When I put my needle in, the point is heading straight down. See how the, I'm holding the pick up too? Just like that. Needle's going straight down into the tissue, then I flick and curve. Okay, then I can set my depth really well. So you'll note the needle has a nice curvature to it. I'm going to hold the background here so you can see it. You see that curve? It's a really nice curvature. It goes along with the curvature of your wrist motion as you turn like that. You'll note as the needle, it works better if it goes straight up and down into the tissue you push down lightly in the tissue and curve your wrist. Just like that. You see how that works? I'm curving right through, okay? And I can set my own depth of tissue when I do that. I never want to go straight in like this, but rather I curve after I push down. You got that? And then I can let go and easily push the needle right through. I pull and I pick it right up. I don't pick it up at the tip, but mid shaft. Then I reset the needle and I try and go equidistant across and come out straight across from the tissue, poke through and pull a stitch right through. And it's simply a matter of just checking to make sure the depth is correct and the width is correct of the suture. First throw is always a double, pull across nice and light. I don't want to pull too tightly. Many people make that mistake if they pull too much. You can see the tissue bending when I do that and sometimes it'll break. I want a nice I want a nice light throw. Just enough to join the edges and pull it across again. You note how whenever I use my pickups it's always in the middle of the wound and I wrap around just like that. So I wrap and pull through. Middle of the wound I wrap around and I pull across. I'm not doing it the other way. I'm not going from the outside of the wound, but I want to go from the middle of the wound and pull. That way I remember left, right, right, left, left, right. See how that just settles in real nicely. Make a nice cut. Very simple. Very easy. Some good technique. Good to use.